Well, Merry Christmas and welcome to Pause. Uh, find somewhere comfortable to sit and settle in. Uh, this evening, we're just gonna spend a little time with a reading by Frederick Buechner, and it's entitled Advent. The house lights go off and the footlights come on. Even the chattiest stop chattering as they wait in darkness for the curtain to rise. In the orchestra pit, the violin bows are poised. The conductor has raised the baton. In the silence of a midwinter dusk, there is far off in the deeps of it somewhere, a sound so faint that for all you can tell, it may be only the sound of the silence itself. You hold your breath to listen. You walk up the steps to the front door. The empty windows at either side of it tell you nothing, or almost nothing. For a second, you catch a whiff in the air of some fragrance that reminds you of a place that you've never been and a time that you have no words for. You are aware of the beating of your heart. The extraordinary thing that is about to happen is matched only by the extraordinary moment just before it happens. Advent is the name of that moment. The Salvation Army Santa Claus clangs his bell. The sidewalks are so crowded you can hardly move. Exhaust fumes are the chief fragrance in the air, and everybody is as bundled up against any sense of what all this fuss is really about as they are bundled up against the wind chill factor. But if you concentrate, just for an instant, far off in the deeps of yourself somewhere, you can feel the beating of your heart. For all its madness and lostness, not to mention your own, you can hear the world itself holding its breath. And may our awareness rest in that space place of anticipation at the center of our being, which is also the place of fulfillment. May we find in this season the rest and comfort, the grace and peace of our Lord, ever present within us. Grace, peace, Merry Christmas.